okay uh, this is the output of a uh, rectangular uh, type of square wave so rectangular type of waveforms uh, using a, a stable multi vibrator here duty cycle is uh, more than 50% and less than uh, 100% so around 75% or 80% it is coming here so i want symmetric that is on time is equal to off time that is duty cycle is 50% so in order to change you have to use resistors r1 and r2 both are same so in order to change stop the simulation so change this one also to 6.8k change this one to 6.8k and one diode you have to connect parallel here both resistors are same and you have to connect uh, parallel here so place component take a diode so here you take a gp so it should be downwards controller i think now you are going to get the output let me check so this you connect to here so what happens whenever the capacitor is charging see whenever uh, in the charging time the diode becomes forward bias once the diode becomes forward bias it acts as a short circuit so r2 parallel short circuit r2 parallel circuit it is zero only so the charging time is actually uh, without the diode the charging time is 0.69 ra plus this r1 plus r2 into c1 right so we want to cancel this r2 so we have to cancel this r2 by connecting one uh, parallel diode here whenever diode is forward bias it acts as a short circuit short circuit parallel with r2 is zero so uh, effectively it is r1 only so 0.69 into r1 into c1 is the charge time and in the off time 0.69 r2 into c1 so r2 and r1 are same so you are going to get same r1 and r2 both are same so that's why you are going to get t on is equal to t off that is mainly because of diode d1 whenever it is forward bias it acts as a short circuit short circuit parallel with r2 which gives you zero resistance so in the charging time also effective resistance is 6.8 and in the discharging path also uh, in the in the whenever uh, transistor is uh, whenever the capacitor is discharging okay this diode is reverse bias okay because this potential at zero potential this dis discharge capacitor at zero potential so uh, the diode will be in reverse bias open circuit so you have to consider r2 in the discharge path so let me show the expansion i am going to run this now so double click now you can see output is coming okay so on time is this off time is this on time is this off time is this so you are going to get approximately square wave approximately square it is not exactly square wave because there still some variation will be there the reason is the reason is okay the reason is uh, here a diode resistance will be there no for only for ideal diode it is zero but practically some 50 ohms will be there so that 50 ohms uh, or 40 ohms parallel with 6.8k it will give you around uh, some 40 or 50 ohms so because of that on time will be little bit more than half time see half time is this much on time is little bit more than that because of uh, the diodes are actually not uh, ideal here it is going to give some resistance that resistance parallel with this will give you uh, some resistance value that will be added with 6.8k so that's why you are not going to get exact 50 percent you are going to get around 55 percent you are going to get okay so you can check it out in the cro what is on time what is total time period so you are going to get around 55 percent you are going to get but theoretically it is 50 percent but in practically you are going to get 53 or 54 percent you are going to get so this is a symmetric uh, square wave generate using a k stable multi vibrator thank you